Light that one. Oh, that one goes the other way. Okay. okay we're gonna close the door. And we got... Oh, apples! They look del delicious. This is a red delicious right here. At some point in its former life. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning. And for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Knock, knock. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. You shouldn't scream. Tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. What you know? It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's How not you... only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Oh, okay. So by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. Ew. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. He keeps hitting I me. I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Okay. The orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Okay. So the orb... How does an orb cast a shadow? I thought it was glass. Some kind of perfect glass thingy with no shadow, because it's glass. Oh, there we go! Okay, let's get that. Oh! Okay, that hurts. Don't do that. Can we get this? Oh, cool! I can cook stuff now! What's this? Some sort of acid. Wound is bleeding quite badly. Here, have some of that. Give me this. Hey, guy! You want some potatoes? I got potatoes! Hey, come here! Here, have some! Have some more! I don't think he likes them. No, not a potato lover. Not at all. He's not. He's not a. Sp the heck? What the heck just happened? Well, that's not helpful. What the heck? Ew! What, am I being like punished for screwing around so- This rock is shaking. Punches eater for- uh, I want to go back to the kitchen now. Door's gone. No more door. Are you back again? Dude! Get your own potatoes! Go away! 
You can't get me here. Ha! Hey, guy. You're stuck. You can't get this. See me? You can't reach me. You can't reach me. Ha! Ah, can I reach him with something? Can I, like, grab this and throw it at oh, Yes, I can. Ha! Ah! You can't get me. Hi. Hi. You don't know how to jump. He can reach me. He, he, he found a way to reach me. Back here again. The heck. Which way was the way out? Ew. I like... Yeah, I'm already half hurt. This isn't going very well. <laughs> Demon Hedgehog, that's good. Stop being born, I don't have enough presents. That's good. I want to try that again, but I want to bring stuff with me to throw at them because it's funny. So we need that. We need this. We need the rock of movement. So I can move his head a bit. Where's the potatoes? Give me potatoes. Give me lots of potatoes. All the potatoes in the world. And an apple. Did it just gush? No, it's still there. Okay, good. And a piece of moldy bread. Another piece of moldy bread. More potatoes. More bread. More bread. Anything else? There we go, he's coming. Come on, guy, I'm over here. You can see me. I'm jumping. Come here. Hey, man. How you doing? It's bouncing. This is awesome. We can. It's floating. All right, where's that apple? Here. Have have an apple. No. What about here? Have a sack of potatoes and another sack of potatoes and another sack of potatoes. Have it again. Have it. Have it again. And a rock. Oh no, right, that was a piece of bread, that's right. And another piece of bread. I need the other, I need the potatoes back. Come here. Come here. Taters. Have I, am I losing my, that's awesome. I think I'm gonna die from sanity. That's great. I'm gonna die from sanity. Nope, just gonna die. <laughs> That's awesome. And back again. Going through this icky stuff and something's gonna burst on me. Hey, nothing bursts on me this time. Let's bring another rock. 
How's my sanity doing? Okay, a few cuts and bruises. Head is pounding and shaking. Yeah, I bet that it is. You, you now be, you've now died and been reborn like five times today. That I recall. There's where I threw the bread. There's through the potatoes. That's where I threw the other rock. What if I put the rocks in the door? Will he be able to navigate the... Hold on. I want to try this. Let's see if we go and get all the rocks from over here. Let's see if the physics of the game can figure it out. Here, you come here. Hold on. We need another rock to move that rock. That's right. Now you think it's not going to make it up the steps. You might be right. Hold on. Come on, rock of movement. Go. Come on. Come on. You got this. You got this rock of movement. Kick it up those steps. Up the steps. Up we go. Keep going. Move that boulder around and around. Up we go. There we go. Almost. There we go. Now let's see what happens when he comes up to the door and the door is blocked. By a rock of movement, a rock of movement, and a rock of movement, and a rock of not movement. Alright, game, what you gonna do now? Come on, man. Where's a sack of potatoes? I wanna throw it at him to taunt him. Here, have that. Yep, he could care less. He doesn't care about no potatoes, doesn't care about no rocks. Walks over the rocks. He kind of... He kind of glitched over the rocks, actually. Which I find worth it. All right, let's actually do something in the kitchen now. I'm done throwing sacks of taters at him. I'm going to take a wild guess. And bet I'm supposed to hide behind all the sack of meat over here or something. I bet you what I'm supposed to do is sit over here until he leaves. And the game won't continue until I just sit over here. So let's go ahead and let's just sit here. And I'd kind of like my sanity to not go too crazy, so I think I'll just look at this meat. And that meat. 